We're now at the soldering stage and I'm just going to demonstrate how we solder these uh, rings together. So the component is very, very clean. It has to be in order for the solder to flow perfectly throughout the whole joint and make a completely solid ring. So we just use these um, heating mats and uh, the first job is to swamp or flood the joint with a what's called a flux and this is called borax and uh, we wet the end of it and then swirl it round in this dish and it creates a paste and the idea of the borax is that it keeps oxygen away from the joint that we're trying to solder and that's very important because as soon as the surfaces oxidize then the gold when it reaches when the solder reaches its melting point if the surfaces of sur surfaces have oxidized then it simply won't flow throughout the joint so this is a key component of the soldering process so we've now got quite a nice sort of fluid uh, there and um, we just use our paintbrush, modeler's paintbrush and flood the joint with the borax. And ju I'm just pulling the ring apart slightly just so that I make sure that the borax, borax has flowed right the way through. So that's now prepared. And the next stage is to cut a piece of solder. And this is 18 karat red gold uh, solder sheet. And basically the melting point of this is just below that of the gold. So it's very, very critical to make sure that we um, get the heat just right. And I always tend to use, on a job like this, I always tend to use more solder than I need, simply because the ring is going to be turned up and worked on and machined, so any excess gold will be removed. And um, what I really need to make sure is that we have more than enough gold to make sure that we have a very, very good joint. So I can just place this... quite a large piece of solder over the joint well try to anyway and you really have to just make sure it's sitting directly over the joint and I always bend this bend the solder into, into a 45 degree angle just to, um, just so that it sits nicely. So I'm just mixing some more borax. Get the paintbrush again and cover the solder with more borax. So that's now well covered and ready for soldering. Now with the soldering, what we do is we use a um, we use a torch, but we we heat the ring very gently and the idea is that we want to create a very uniform heat throughout the ring and if one particular area has too much heat than the other then then when the gold solder reaches its melting point it'll flow towards the hottest area and that will usually be away from the joint that we're trying to solder so it's very very crucial that we heat the whole ring gradually so first of all I start off heating here and um, 
just very gently at the moment because what we'll notice if you keep the, your, your eye on the borax that will start to bubble as it dries and um, what we want to make sure is that the solder stays in situ which it has done so that's now dried and so we just gently work around the ring just um, putting a little more heat into it and slowly increasing the intensity of the flame I'll turn up the heat a little bit more and the ring should very soon start to oxidise which it is now and as you can see the area that's been protected by the borax has still retained its whiter colour and that means that the borax is doing its job and preventing the oxygen from getting to the joint so we're getting a good uniform heat now and we're getting closer to more of a red sort of colour and I can start to apply heat generally to the whole ring now just going around in gentle circles gradually bringing the temperature up increase the heat a little bit more and as you can see the colour is starting to become more uniform and glow very evenly and we're getting very close now to the point of the melting point of the gold solder. And we're very close now. And it's starting to flow. And that's gone now. And basically what I saw was a good flow of gold around the joints which is what you need to see and when you see that sort of flush of gold then you know that well in theory you should have a very good joint it means that everything's been very clean the gold has flowed well, the heat's been very uniform. So I'm happy with that now. And we can turn down the heat. So we'll just um, let that cool a moment. And then we can give it uh, an examination just to make sure that the solder has flown all the way around. So check underneath, and yeah, all's good there, all's good. So we can just put that down and move on to the next ring. So we now have the three rings ready, they've all been soldered together and all made true in the tapered former. So now what I'm going to do is to start to turn them up, clean them up and 
basically bring the shape out of what is just a very, very square plain ring. So we'll start off with the middle band first of all. And uh, we're just mounting this in the Sashoban 70 lathe. And we'll just start taking some very small cuts. And we'll just use a bit of oil on the surface there just to help with the cutting. So the uh, top surface is pretty well cleaned up now and um, I'm just going to clean up the inside of the ring and make sure we put plenty of lubrication in there. And because it's eccentric you just take very small cuts. Just a few more high spots there, or low spots which need to be cleaned off. So a little bit more. So after a quick cut of sharpen we can get back to cleaning up the inside and removing all of the black oxide. <laughs> 